Hey guys and girls, this is Zach Sierra from HVAC Shop Talk, and I wanted to make a little quick video because I was looking through my garage the other day and I ran across one of my favorite tools. And some of you guys on Instagram might have already seen this, but I wanted to show you guys. And I wanted to give a demonstration of how it works, even though a lot of you have this tool, but some of the newer guys might not. A lot of people buy these ratcheting benders. You've seen them from Yellow Jacket, you see them from Hillmore. We gave away a CPS version to our buddy Michael Bimco. So a lot of people forget about these. Nice little three-in-one tubing bender that does actually three sixteenths, quarter inch, five sixteenths, and three eighths, as you can see right here. It is made by Imperial. And you can see on the head of it, it'll let you line up certain angles to bend your pipe. Mine is a little weathered but it's been through the mill. I bought this at a place called McCall's in Wilmington, North Carolina. And the interesting thing about that is that building is now a Ferguson and hopefully one day my buddy Ralph will be teaching a class there. So this was a long time ago though. This is probably 10 or 15 years ago when I got this. I'm not positive. I bought this when I was trying to kind of step up my game, bend copper that looked nice. And something we'll talk about in the future is my dad's age old saying that if it looks good, it works good. And there's a ton of truth to that because if you're willing to put in the time to make something look good, then chances are it's also going to work well because you're using that same work ethic to make it functional as well as aesthetically pleasing. So really quick, I wanna show you why I use this. We're gonna make a quick bend, nothing spectacular. So I just brought a piece of copper up here. It's gonna bend it and kind of show you the difference between doing something by hand and doing something with a bender and the reason why I think it's better. All right, I have my copper right here. You can see the bender, kind of straighten it out. If you have copper like this, what you can do is you can clamp it down just like that and you can move it around till you get to the angle you want to be at. So you see we're going past 45 right there and then on to 90 degrees. Take it off. That's a beautiful bend. And the reason why this is important is because guys and girls, they judge us on what our work looks like, not just how it performs. So make sure your work looks good because on the other end, we can bend it like this, do the same thing, take your time, try to make a nice hand bend. And as you can see, it doesn't look bad but just a shade below how this looks, just a little bit less professional. And it's harder to do the larger the copper gets. We run into copper that's seven eighths, three quarters, inch and an eighth. And that's where we go to our ratcheting benders to make that look good. But when it comes to three eighths and smaller, these tubing benders right here, these are the ones you really need to get. Now I have an Imperial one, our sponsor Yellow Jacket makes one as well. And I know that there's several different manufacturers that can sell you one of these. I think it's a great tool to have. I love this tool. Whenever I would do service work, I'd carry it with me just in case I had to reroute a dryer or move a dryer from the inside of a unit to the outside like they would on Goodman. Because a lot of times those are kind of hard to reach so you put them on the outside of the condenser. This is a perfect way to kind of fit your tubing up on the inside, maybe route it around on the outside to make it look really good. So that's just a quick tip, guys. I wanted to make sure that you're doing the best job possible in the field and that it looks the best it possibly can. The saying that my father said, if it looks good, it works good, is something that I've carried with me throughout my life. I keep it with me on the podcast. I keep it with me on the YouTube videos. I want to make sure we give it the greatest production we can, the most appropriate production. Just like in the field, you want to make your bins look pretty. You want to make your ductwork look good. Everything about a job should be attractive. So when a customer or your boss sees it, they know you put time and effort into it and did a good job. It's very, very important. Some of the stuff in our life is going to be judged on perception. So you can either put the effort in to make that look good, or you can run the risk of being judged on a job that looks sloppy, even if it runs great. My suggestion, make it look good, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have more tips like this in the future, and stay tuned to more videos on HVAC Shop Talk.